Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. We have four legitimacy as the as the Sultan of Oman. I mean, for, of, of the Ottomans, and our heir, who is really good, has a weak claim. So even when he takes over, we're gonna have twenty legitimacy. Ouch. No es bueno, es muy malo. Es muy malo. Hmm. Ooh, Regency. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Oh, we really should get some marriages. I feel naked without marriages. But in the meantime, we are annexing two vassals. Uh, one of them will be done in 1583, which is fine. Uh, could I get a statesman, maybe? Is there a st There's no statesman. I need a statesman! I need a statesman. We are westernizing. We're all the way up to 25%. It increases by whatever our stability number is each month. So it's going up by one each month because our stability is plus one. If our stability was negative two, it'd be going down by two every month. But the nice thing is we're almost ready to um, upgrade our military attack. Ooh, look at those new units. Oh, yeah. Westernizing, bitch. We're westernizing, bitch. Okay, how long are these cores good for? I have a hundred and something years on Ukraine cores. I'm not worried about those. I am worried about the Golden Horde cores. Those are not going to last too long. In fact, some of them are gone. The ones in Russia are already gone. Fuck my life. Ugh. 1584. 1622. So those have some time. 1622. But these are gone. Yeah, they're just, they're just gone. So we're going to have to vassalize Crimea if we ever want to get these easily off of Russia. Yeah, he has no allies. How's Russia doing on military? They're at uh, Tech 11 with... Oh, Oh, wow, they passed me. They have passed me. Whoa. How's Burgundy doing these days? Why can't you click on the shield to go to the nation? Oh, Tech 13. I like that. <laughs> I like that. All right, everybody's pretty much home. Uh, you're on, oh, you're on the way. All right, we'll let you get over here first. But yeah, uh, we'll keep good relations with Morocco. They'll probably peacefully vassalize at some point, maybe? I totally screwed that up, though. I wanted to take more land away from them in the peace deal, but I, I done goofed. Uh, same thing over here. I bet we could peacefully vassalize the Mamluks. I'm just not sure. I bet we could, but I think we should take some more land away from them first. Their only ally is... Oh, they're allied with Persia? Ugh, I don't want to fight Persia. I really don't. Hmm. I think I want to get a marriage and an alliance with Persia, but let's annex some vassals first. Annexing vassals, annexing vassals. La la la, la 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 la. We have a truce, but it won't last forever. Then we'll go back to war. Then we'll feed Bosnia some more land. He has the same crappy allies. Once our truce is gone, I'm just going to declare war on him. And I bet that'll make him feel good. Feel welcomed. Happy. You know. For being part of us. Part of us. Part of us. Why can't I support Patriot Rebels here? I just can't. He has no revolt risk. You would think, in a nation as crappy as his, that he would have revolt risk. But there's no revolt risk in Hungary for some damn reason. I don't know. I don't get it. Aragon's making friends. That's good for them. Has Ireland made any friends? Nope. <laughs> no friends for Ireland. We are very slowly annexing Algeria. Overseas? Oh, yeah, because of this. Because we don't have a direct land border. It's considered distant overseas. Oh, I forgot about that. That's a bit of a pain. But a statesman would cut around that. What? Our king died? Are you kidding me? Oh, he died so young. Wow, did he die young. And now we have 14 years of regency. Yay! Six pretender rebels in Terabulus. Get up there. Man, I can't freaking wait for 14 years of regency. Sounds like a hoot. So we're going to have zero legitimacy for pretty much 14 years because being in a Regency Council gives you negative two legitimacy every year. Great. means we also can't declare any wars and we're just kind of going to sit on our hands for a while. 
know what? Why don't you guys go and hunt rebels? You guys, I don't know. I think I'm going to take you over to Epirus, and then I'll take these 24 guys to Rome. Oh, man, what a joke. Lose legitimacy. Who cares? We don't have any legitimacy. Man, I can't believe our king died so young. And he was such a good king, too. A 5-4-4 king, and he died at, like, 32. You know? Come on. It's too young. People resist westernization. Oh, look, I'm going to lose another 30 legitimacy. Okay. Thank you. Come again. Losing claims. I don't care. I do care about losing cores up here, though. I would prefer not to. 1584. Yeah, 1584 is the most recent one. Actually, this one's 1572, but... Eh. <sighs> Can't believe it. He died so young. So young. Thirty-seven percent. At least we're still rolling on the westernization thing. It's just, oof, brutally slow. I wonder if someone's going to try to claim our throne. Is the AI dumb enough to claim a throne even if they're a different dynasty? Or do they know better? I wouldn't be surprised if they were dumb. You know? Spain left the coalition. Oh no, whatever will I do? People are leaving the coalition. We found more slaves. Hey, we found more slaves. Yay. Oh, it's lovely when you find slaves, you know. You just go to Africa like, I'm going to set up a colony here. Hmm. What do you want to do with your colony, sir? Well, why don't we sell the locals? All right. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. That's a plan right there. We're going to sell the locals. Britain declared war on Ireland again. And Ireland has no allies again. So Britain's going to be at war with just Ireland, and Ireland's going to be at war with Britain, Normandy, Provence, and probably Spain and Portugal, too. And Savoy. Yeah, bring in the, the cavalry. Like like anyone's ever going to invade Ireland. Maybe they will invade Ireland this time. Who knows? Maybe they will. Do, do you have transports? No? Yes, he has 15 transports. It might happen. He might actually invade this time. If you guys don't remember last time, he declared war, and he wound up surrendering to Ireland because he never fucking invaded. Spain didn't invade, Portugal didn't invade, and Britain didn't invade. So Ireland wound up taking Britain for like 200 ducats. They're like, ha ha, la la, you lose. They just didn't, didn't, they didn't land any troops. They didn't do shit. All he did was blockade them for the whole war. I guess that's the idea, that's the AI's idea of waging war, is just blockade them, you're done. But it's an island. It's hard to get there. No, it's not. You, you have 15 transports. You bring 15 troops on the transports, and then you land them on the target province. Like, oh, no, you can't do that. That's invasion of sovereign soil. And yet you're the one that declared war to invade sovereign soil. You better go fucking do it. Britain. Go on. Go invade. Here's how you know France is up shit creek. Brittany just declared war on France. And it's not like France is involved in any other wars or anything. Brittany just knows that France is fucked right now. And has been for about a hundred years. <laughs> Poor France. Balmuk's declared war on Hedges. Okay. Hedges has no allies. Okay. How goes the conversion process, Croatia? Oh, he did convert Slavonia. Croatia has converted one province to Sunni. Well, it's a start. Thank you, Croatia. What about... Uh, oh, Bosnia has converted Zeta. Bosnia has converted one province as well. Well, at least they both converted one province. They're putting their best feet forward. Any special buildings to do? Nope. All right. Save our points. Make sure we don't have any more Wallachian rebels. 
Oh man, I can't believe we can't declare war again. These regencies suck. You're just sitting around for years and years, not able to do anything. Heretical research? Yeah. Gain piety and lose admin points. Uh, lose piety. Um, we'll gain the piety. As much as I hate to do that, uh, I kind of want to get my piety up. Get the piety up! So we can keep converting Rome. Kind of important, sort of. Alright, get the hell out of Tuscany. They don't need any more hugs anymore. You're done with Tuscany, okay? Let's go hug. Hmm. Maybe we should go get our marriages over here. Let's get more marriages. It'll, it'll help us with legitimacy. Ah, local revolt risk. Losing claims, but I don't care. Yay! Oh, we can annex our vassal. We don't need to, though. But it will help with legitimacy. So, sure, why not? I guess nothing can really overcome regency, though. Mm, plus 0.6, no. We would need seven more marriages to counteract the regency. Goodness, what a joke. November of next year, okay. Let's get relations up with Denmark. Keep our allies happy. And maybe Crimea will actually try to help out. No, he doesn't care. Lost a claim on Venice, I don't care. We already have half of Italy, it's good enough. Come on, Crimea, move relations towards us. Help us out here, bro. Bro? Plus 0.0, .0 per year. Wow, your prestige is just so bad. Oh no, a native rising. Wow. Just brutal. Oh, we discovered Epequitic. Epequitic. It's an island over here. Ooh, coastline. I like that graphic. Well, the new world's looking interesting. The Maya exist. The Aztecs still exist. Cherokee are doing just fine. Britain and Spain have North America, as you would expect, and Portugal and Spain are the only ones giving a damn about South America. Now, we could colonize down here. Look at this. We can actually reach South America. That would be quite amusing, don't you think? But, eh, I don't see any need to do that. Austria is the emperor again. Big fucking surprise. No one ever would have expected Austria to be the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. No way. I like how they don't even have their name over here. Their name is not even here. Their name is over there. For, for some damn reason. Hmm. Yeah, we should get relations up with Burgundy as well. Alright, as soon as we're done with Denmark. Actually, as soon as we're done with Denmark, I'm going to start annexing these guys. Lose more legitimacy. That doesn't matter. We lose legitimacy every day. Might as well not even have legitimacy, right? Sixteenth November. Come on. Come on. Bingo. Yay. So that'll free up three relationship spots, which is fine, because we're still gonna be over our fucking limit. Oh yeah, check out religious. We haven't looked at that in a while. Huh. So the Protestant states have done a good job of converting everything, and for some reason Denmark is being very stubborn. He has so many Protestant provinces, and he's like, nope, I'm staying Catholic. Huh. 
Russia is expanding like a bitch, like they always do. Manchu is just eating up Ming again. Man, they're good at that. Poor Ming. Poor, poor Ming. Look at Kazakhstan. Whoa. Comet sighted. Thanks, game. Lose one stability. Sure, that sounds like fun. Let's go lose stability. Yeah, that sounds the best fucking thing ever. Oh, we got a, an advisor for stability cost. There you go. Yeah, let's do that. Boost stability again. We are at 81% uh, on our westernization pro progress. That's good. I like that. 81%, baby. Not making any damn progress over here, but... Persia declare war on car queen. Well... Hey, wouldn't you like it if we still had our alliance, Kara Koinle? Wouldn't you like that, huh? Huh? I bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? You little dickhole. Ugh, jerks. I'd totally help you out and all, except for, you know, you canceled our alliance. Because you're a dick. There you go. Crimea, Crimea, Crimea. Mm. Tempted to see how good it would be if we just collect over here. Let me check it out. Let's just collect everywhere, just for shits and giggles. There. 3.7 ducats. 6.1 ducats. 3 ducats. I think it was more when we were transferring. Yeah, bring them back, and let's see if that's more. I think it will be. At least they're real close by, and this is quick, right? So if we're only going to be collecting in one spot, let's see how much it is. 12.3, that's about the same, I guess. Lose stability or have two revolutionaries insert? Oh my god. Two revolutionary rebels. Holy shit. Holy shit. Um, go pick up my mobile 14 stack and let's go kick some ass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Man. I'm 40. Are you a man? Are you 40? Better believe it. Alright, back on the boat. Hey, I said back on the damn boat. Easy sack of shit. Back on the boat! Let's go back to Everest. Ah. And, um, hmm. Could actually start getting some other advisors, like a statesman. If I could get a fucking statesman, that'd be great. Can I please have a statesman? Having no legitimacy kind of hampers my efforts to do anything. At all. It really is a, a drag. Alright, self-standing colony. Sounds good to me, bro. Let's keep on colonizing down the coast here, bro. Bro! Oh no, our army's under attack by natives. Oh look, we sustained 500 losses and killed all the natives. Well, that's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. We must be almost done. Oh yeah, 93%, baby. Seven more months. At the turn of the year, January 1576, we will be westernized. Barring any type of comet-sided death of the Regency or some other bullshit minus stability event. We're almost there. Keep ignoring all their demands. Who cares what the people think? We don't want to westernize. We like our shitty military. Those silly peasants. They like groveling in filth. What do they know? 99%? Oh, I can feel it. They really need to make some type of wonderful graphic, maybe like, I don't know, Michael Jordan slam dunking over somebody important, Bill Gates. That'd be great, Michael Jordan slam dunking over Bill Gates, or Bill Gates slam dunking over Michael Jordan. Then you know you've westernized, baby. Technology. 
But no, there's nothing. There's no sound effects. You should have trumpets chiming and everything. We are fucking westernized. Let me take a look. What's our units now? Galloglay infantry. Oh, yeah. That's the shit. That's the ticket. And, um, yeah. Let's keep teching up, baby. Baby. I'm gonna kick your ass out. Get me a cheapo, dude. Revolt risk, revolt risk. Give me the prestige guy. I like prestige. And give me the level one dude. And another level one dude. I don't have a level one option. Well, then give me the level two. Because I am rich. Oh, this is beautiful. Royal marriage. I might want that marriage, yeah. You know what? I'll take that marriage. No, not yet. We gotta annex some people first. Beautiful. Everything just looks so different now that we're westernized. Really, it does. The world is a much smaller place. Everyone has a toaster in their house and a television in their bathroom. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's lovely. I would do some buildings, but we need to start catching up on technology. We are currently red as a mofo, and uh, that's unacceptable. Hedges will seed Kenna, Suakin, Sinai, and Negev. So the Mamluks kind of doubled their territory there. Good job, Mamluks. Hedges, you want to vassalize? Oh, right, we can't because you can't marry them for some fucking reason. You can't marry them or else they would vassalize. You just can't marry them. You can't handle the marriage. Blasphemy, what? Burn them at the stake. Gain piety. Do I need piety? I do need piety. Yeah, burn them. Burn that son of a bitch. Burn them. Are you improving relations with me? No, because you're a douche. You douche? You should totally be improving relations. All right, record Arguin. So, Western Africa is ours. Good, good for us. Go us. Are you gonna colonize? That'd be great. Now, man, wouldn't that be cool if Aragon would spawn with Spain's, ide with Spain's um, yeah, idea groups? Why not? Spain controlled them for a long time. Oh well. Seslavis and all that jazz. Stupid Regency Council. Ah, seven more years of this crap. What do you want? Military access? Sure. Go ahead. Go nuts. Go nuts. Can't declare war on Hungary. Can't declare war on Kazan. Can't declare war on Morocco. Can't declare war on Jack Shit. Can't declare war on Mamluks. Can't do dick all. Why go for the piety now and wanting to, when you want to tech up? Because I want to convert Rome. I really want to convert Rome. I mean, it's 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 teetering on the brink of conversion, right? We need an advisor though. There's no advisor to convert. Need an advisor. Losing claims that I don't care. Conquer Levant. Oh, we can do it again. We have to own Negev. Oh, marriage. Sure, I'll take your marriage. We're annexing you, you know that, right? I mean, you are aware of the annexation procedure and how you will not exist within a few years. I don't think he realizes that. Algiers seems a little dumber than the average vassal for some reason. And Persia is quite easily beating up Kara Koinlu. And the Timurids. Why are the Timurids at war? What happened? Oh. Timurids went to war with Uzbek, and apparently Uzbek is allied with Persia? No. Well, I don't know. Is that a religious thing? No. Well, I don't know. But let's tech up our military, baby. Yeah! Let's go get some new units. Alright, what do we want? Um, land Schlechten. No. I think we'll stick with Reformed Gallo Glay. And um, Suarze and the Pedrero. Now, when's the next nice 
tech for soldiers. Tech 12, we get Tertio. All right, Tech 12, let's go. Tech 12, come on. We've been so peaceful for so long. I don't remember how to go to war anymore. I'm starting to forget things. Who are you? What's my name? What week is it? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Oh, these questions. These questions. No answers. Only questions. What? Not slaves? What the fuck? You go back there and you find me some fucking slaves. What is this grain bullshit? Nah, grain's fine. It's actually worth more than slaves. Slaves are worth 1.21 ducats. Grain's worth 2.04 ducats. Yeah. Grain's worth a lot more than slaves. As far as trade value. A greedy corsair gain diplo power and our naval reformer dies or gain ducats and lose... No, I'm okay with that. Let's look at some new idiot. Um, really? There's only two plus threes? There's gotta be someone else. No, there's only two plus threes, and they're both old as fuck. Can I please have a, a new guy? There we go. Oh, Statesman! Yay! I love Statesman! Really, I do love Statesman. They're awesome. It's gonna help these things annex so much faster. Oh my god, yes. The Statesmen are awesome. Huh, Trier has actually conquered parts of Cologne. In fact, Cologne is gone. Is this the Pope? Hey! Welcome back, Pope! <laughs> what are you doing in Gelray? <laughs> what the fuck? The Pope exists and he's in the Netherlands. This is a little weird. Mr. Pope Man. Hey, Mr. Pope, man, poke me that Pope Nana. Do, 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 do. Oh, I have a mission to colonize South America. Because, you know, the Ottomans, they were big colonizers of South America. True story. I don't know what history book you read. You know what? Why don't we call this an episode here? Thank you guys for joining me today. I have been Shen. You have been you. We have dragged the Ottomans out of the dirt. We know what Western technology is. We know how to use these new guns and cannons and shit. And now we're going to use them on some people. But first, we need our king to come of age. Sultan Ahmed Osmanli. We're waiting for you, bro. We're waiting for you. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.